What is going on, everybody? Yesterday, we heard that Devin White has requested a trade from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I want to talk about it today because, to me, I think the Las Vegas Raiders have to get a linebacker. I don't think the current guys that they have on the roster are guys that are going to be good enough for this Raiders team. Uh, to me, I think the Raiders got to get guys that can blitz, that can get after the quarterback, uh, that can potentially cover in zone coverage and do some interesting things. And I think Devin White is that linebacker for the Raiders. Uh, years back, the Raiders actually took Cleveland Farrell over Devin White. And Cleveland Farrell has not worked out, right? He's obviously been a bust. He's now left the Raiders. He went and signed with the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, hopefully, he can get his career turned around there. But um, obviously, he isn't the guy for the Raiders. And most people agree that the Raiders should have taken Devin White or Josh Allen or one of these other guys. But... At this point, Devin White is available for trade. Now, uh, the thing you have to understand with Devin White is the fact that from a contract perspective, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers cannot pay this guy. The Buccaneers have a lot of money invested in their other linebacker, in their defensive line. Uh, some of their secondary players have been paid. Their receivers are top tier guys. Um, and they just have a lot of money invested in different guys. Now, they do have a quarterback on a rookie contract. Um, plus, I believe they picked up Baker Mayfield as well, although his contract's not massive. So we'll see what ends up happening there. But um, Devin White is a guy that will likely become a free agent. Now, the interesting thing is just what do the Buccaneers trade him for? Uh, Roquan Smith was a guy that just got traded recently to the Ravens, and he went for a first and a second round pick. So to me, when you look at that, I don't think that's where Devin White is compared to. I think Roquan Smith is obviously better than Devin White. But I could see Devin White going for a third-round pick. I think the Raiders should consider it. Now, obviously, there's reports out there that people have posted, like, hey, you know, Devin White's not very good in coverage. People refer to uh, pro football focus. Uh, they'll refer to his grade. And, you know, they'll throw a lot of things out there against Devin White. But uh, when I watch Devin White on tape, there are a couple of things that really stick out. He's a really good blitzer. Uh, and I think the Raiders have missed a linebacker that's actually smart when it comes to blitzing. You know, there's different types of techniques you can do when you blitz. Um, you know, rather you run a interior, you know, a stunt with your interior defensive lineman. One guy from the three techniques slants hard into the center. A linebacker comes off the edge of that. And then the way the guy like dips his shoulders or whatever to move and get past an offensive lineman to get pressure. Devin White's legit. Like, he's really, really, really good at being able to do those type of things. Uh, more than that, his speed sticks out. Uh, if you guys remember, he ran a 4-4-2 40-yard dash back in uh, at the scouting combine when he came out. Um, that's very, very impressive. And for me, the Raiders linebackers just aren't very good at the moment. Um when you look at the Raiders' current roster of linebackers, we got Robert Spillane, which I don't know how how excited I am to, to really watch him. Uh, we got Divine Diablo, who looked okay, right? He was really our number one linebacker going into last year's. Uh, at least in my opinion, he was right. He, I think for the first couple of games that he was super healthy uh, and was able to play. He played on first, second, and third downs, as opposed to Denzel Perryman came out of the field on third downs which told me Divine Diablo was really our, our main linebacker last year. Um, but we don't know if he's going to develop and get a lot better. Now, I do have hope that Diablo could, you know, progress through his career and hopefully get a little bit better. We'll see if he actually does this year. Uh, Darian Butler, Luke Masterson, the younger guys, you know, we'll see how these guys can work out this year. But, you know, these guys are undrafted guys. And oftentimes, Undrafted guys aren't going to be top 10 to 15 linebackers in the league, right? They'll just kind of be in that average group of guys. And then maybe by year six, they'll finally become, you know, talented guys that can actually play. But we don't, you know, we can't wait five years for these guys to develop. The Raiders need impact players today. Uh, and White has had impactful plays, right? Uh, from forcing fumbles to uh, potentially getting an interception here or there or, or causing an interception right rather he gets after the quarterback or he tips a pass into the air um, I think the Raiders got to consider Devin White I, I think you have to look at your current roster and look at the guys that are kind of available and obviously you know I'm saying all this with the fact that the big thing is going to be his contract is Devin White going to get 12 million a year because that may be too much or is he looking for 
you know, five to seven million, right? Because I'm, I'm more willing to pay him something closer to five to seven. And maybe he wants a, a big contract, right? Maybe he wants 15 plus. If that's the case, I'm 100% not trading for Devin White. But uh, if Devin White could somehow be brought into the Raiders for a third round pick and we can pay him where it's not th third or lower, and then we can pay him where it's not a whole lot of money, I'm all for it. Obviously, I think Dave Ziegler and Josh Daniels play things very, very safely. Uh, they're not the type of guys to go all in on certain guys, right? To them, they'd rather take the conservative approach, which I would as well. Uh, you know, you don't want to get super aggressive until your roster is stacked and the Raiders really aren't there yet. So we'll see what the Raiders end up doing. Keep in mind, Devin White will be playing under the fifth year option, I believe this year. So uh, his cap hit will be a little bit higher. Um, but, you know, you can always rework that, you know, redo his contract. And the hope would be to be able to get him for, you know, $7 million a year. We'll see what ends up happening. Let me know what you guys think. Would you take Devin White? Yes or no? Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.